This is the third tutorial in the Esotropia chapter. Previous tutorials 3.1 and 3.2 can be found in your Opval YouTube channel. Please subscribe. So we're going to look at the non accommodative isotropias. Looking at the constant isotropias, infantile and basic. The intermittent isotropias, near, distance and cyclical. And ending with sensory isotropia and consecutive isotropia. A constant isotropia is one that is present both for near fixation and far fixation. If this is present or starts after the age of six months, it is termed a basic isotropia. If it is onset is before six months, it is termed an infantile isotropia, which has many defining clinical signs. These include the presence of nystagmus blockage syndrome. If the fixing eye is occluded, there is a conjugate nystagmus movement away from the fixing eye. There is dissociated vertical deviation. This occurs when the occluder is placed in front of an eye, the eye moves up and out, and then when the occluder is taken away, the eye moves down and in. Often it floats, or can be described as floating back into position. Infantile isotropia also has inferior oblique overaction. As you can see, the right eye, as it adducts, moves up as it moves in. And just to reconfirm, is an isotropia that is present in both near fixation and far fixation. The management of this includes treatment of any amblyopia surgical treatment for alignment before the age of 18 months and possibly secondary surgery to treat any vertical deviation as a result of the DVD, dissociated vertical deviation. The intermittent isotropias are those that change depending on the point of fixation. So for a near isotropia, as the name suggests, there is an isotropia for near. But when we change this fixation to far, no isotropia is present. However, aphoria may be present. And the opposite occurs for distance isotropia, which are quite rare. There is an isotropia for distance. However, on near, only a foria. Is present. Cyclical isotropias are those that vary with time and these can be listed by a careful history from either the patient or the parents. Sensory isotropia is the result of organic visual loss such as blockage in the media or eye, or eye disease of any kind. 
I'm covering the fixing eye. The sensory isotropic eye, in this case the right, does not move. In some scenarios, there may be a non, there may be a roving non-fixating movement, but the eye does not take up fixation. Consecutive isotropia is after the result of surgery. So, for example, overcorrection of an exotropia.